Unobserved heterogeneity is a term commonly used in econometric texts, particularly texts that deal with panel data. What is unobserved heterogeneity and how do we deal with un unobserved heterogeneity in our analysis? To understand what is unobserved heterogeneity, we have to first understand what does the term heterogeneity means in the context of multi-level modeling or panel data analysis. Heterogeneity means that, for example, uh, firms in different industries differ from one another systematically, or people in two different teams differ from one another systematically. So people or our companies are not homogeneous, but they are heterogeneous and that heterogeneity depends on the higher level unit industries or teams. We can also understand heterogeneity through non-independence of observations. For example, there is heterogeneity if p firms that operate in the same industry are more similar to one another than firms that operate in two different industries. There is team level heterogeneity if people who are in the same team are more similar to one another than people who work in two different teams. This heterogeneity is unobserved if we don't observe its cause. So unobserved heterogeneity are any systematic differences between groups or clusters that we don't observe causes on. What is the impact of unobserved heterogeneity on regression analysis? Well, First of all, we are in violation of independence of observations. The reason for this is that because heterogeneity is unobserved, it is something that must be accounted for by the error term because all the unobserved influences go to the error term. Unobserved heterogeneity makes the error terms non-independent so that errors in one cluster are more similar to one another than errors between two clusters. We can also be in violation of the no endogeneity assumption and uh, this would be the case if the unobserved term, the source of unobserved heterogeneity, is correlated with any of the predictors. In this example here we have uh, three industries, each with uh, a few dozen companies and we are in violation of non-independence of observations because there's clearly clustering one industry is here, the second one is here and the third one is here. And uh, there is also a violation of the no endogeneity assumption because if we draw these regression lines we can see that the one intercept is here, the green one is about here and the blue one is all the way up here. And uh, as the intercept increases we can see that the mean of R&D increases as well. So R&D is correlated with the unobserved effect. So we are in violation of non-independence of observations and the no endogeneity assumption. Let's take a look at how we model unobserved heterogeneity. Let's start with the normal regression analysis. So this is the normal regression model. We have the fixed part containing the regression coefficients and uh, the, the, the data, the variables, and then we have the error term. And we make the assumption that the error term is independent and identically distributed. We also make the assumption that this error term is uncorrelated with any of the predictor variables. We can extend this basic model to an unobserved effects model. One way to do so is to add a term for the unobserved effect. We call it AJ. So we have the unobserved effect here and now the question is what kind of assumptions we make. We still make the assumption that the U here is uncorrelated with all the predictors and depending on what kind of modeling approach we make we can either make the assumption that this unobserved term is correlated with the x variables or we can make an assumption that it is not and then th based on that assumption we can choose different analysis techniques. Unobserved effect can thus cause two problems. If it's just non-independence of observations then our standard errors will be biased. If we have endogeneity so that the AJ correlates with the predictors unless that is explicitly modeled we have also bias and inconsistency. So how do we model the unobserved effect? We have three main modeling strategies. The first strategy is that we ignore the unobserved effect and we use cluster robust standard errors. This will take care of the problem of non-independence of observations but it will of course do nothing 
for the problem that is caused when this aj, the unobserved effect, is correlated with the observed predictors. We still have inconsistency and bias. Another thing that we can do is that we can eliminate the unobserved effect from the data and this will typically take care of both the violation of the no endogeneity assumption and the non-independence of observations and uh, it's an easy to apply strategy. The third strategy is that we build a model that explicitly models this unobserved effect. For example, in multi-level modeling, we do that. We use a latent variable for this age. It's latent because it's not observed. And then we model how that latent variable relates to the other variables. So these are the three main modeling strategies for dealing with unobserved heterogeneity. And there are, of course, various specific techniques under these three general strategies.